I'm sorry I'm wearing sunglasses, but I have not slept in 24 hours. We had a red eye flight last night. We have just landed in Abu Dhabi at 6 20 a.m. this morning it's now 9 a.m. we've been sat in the hotel lobby for about an hour waiting to check into our room and i thought i'd give you a really quick room tour because we're gonna quickly freshen up wash my face it's disgusting at the moment brush our teeth go down for some breakfast and then just figure out what we're doing today but we're staying at the traders hotel is that what it's called yes part of the shangri-la it's group. part of the shangri-la group i'll tell you more about it later but the room is massive like it doesn't look that impressive downstairs it looks like a really nice hotel but it doesn't look amazing like it's not five star but the room's huge let me just show you right we haven't explored yet because we've literally just walked into our room but oh the lighting's going funny this is the bathroom where's my lighting going funny i haven't vlogged for so long what is my camera doing right oh is that a bidet think so that's so weird what do you do with one of those actually don't tell me no don't tell me just don't tell me in the comments there's a bathtub is there a shower oh my god oh there's a shower oh my god it's huge okay this place is massive okay this is our bathroom we have a triple wardrobe situation going on dressing gowns slippers bits and pieces spare duvet stuff a safe, all the huge, and then um, a portable. Why is my lighting going weird? Sorry. Backlight. Okay. A, a porter has left our luggage here for us. There's a full length mirror here. Don't look at me. Um, a king size bed. The guy asked if we wanted a smoking room, and I was like, no, thank you, which is why we had to wait an hour. But I'm so glad we waited. Look at this, it's so fancy, isn't it? Either I just haven't stayed in a hotel um, for a long time or I just think everything's fancy because this is not normally like me. But yeah, there's a huge like desk situation. There's obviously a TV, desk slash dressing table. What's this? Oh, okay, plug sockets. Oh, and they use UK plug sockets here, which is quite handy. This is the um, view, oh. Sun is blinding me. Um, okay, so the left hand side isn't the best view, but wow, that is Abu Dhabi, guys. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I've only been in this car. Oh, the blind things are like blinding me. Um, Whoa. Yeah. Wow, it's all very fancy. We've only been here for like an hour, okay? My sunglasses need to go back on because I just look absolutely awful and i don't know how to open this curtain you know memento Por favor. right hold on <laughs> oh look now this is quite a pretty view oh the roundabouts here are so pretty everything is so clean it's actually pristine i mean apart from this window still but let's just not look at that i don't think this window opens you can't see backlight but anyway this is our room ta-da just walking away from me <laughs> just about to wash my face and look what i just spotted toothbrushes and toothpaste i don't think i've ever seen this in a hotel before obviously we don't need to use them like we have our own the only thing i probably will use is the shower cap but how cool is that is that why it's called the shangri-la even though it's a little bit shabby like a four-star shangri-la <laughs> I mean, I don't really look much better, but I've washed my face, I've brushed my teeth, I feel a lot more human, actually slathered on a ton of SPF because it is so bright and sunny out there. What's that noise? It's outside? Yeah. And I've just put a little bit of concealer on because we're just going down for breakfast and we're going to come back and then decide what we're actually doing today. But look at this, Jas has what? just found a screw in the pocket of his jeans. So the last time you wore these jeans, you must have been doing some DIY in the yeah. house. He's gone through airport security. It's a tiny screw for starters. But it's metal. She made me take my Burks off because they have metal in them apparently. And then I had to walk around barefoot for ages while they lost my shoes at Heathrow. It was a whole nightmare. How does he eat like a screw? You could like That's harm tiny. somebody with oh, it. Well, it was my, my, I mean, nails are my nails are probably bigger That's than this. That's disgusting. Okay, anyway, we're going for breakfast and then I'll tell you what we're doing here because we're not here for very long. It's a very short and sweet visit to Abu Dhabi um, and we don't have a plan. We are literally in a different country 
without a plan. This, this never happens to us. This was a stopover on Etihad, so thank you Etihad. Yeah, okay, that basically summarises what I was going to tell you later. I loaf you, you better believe it. Jax, this sounds like something you came up with. Like so cheesy, so buttery. Jax, take it easy, let's get cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one actually. If you don't start a holiday breakfast with orange juice, who even are you? I mean, I don't like juice, I never drink juice at home, but for some reason on holiday, I have yeah. to have an orange juice. It's so much it's God, this papaya looks so good. We've got dragon fruit. Oh, very excited for that. Fruit abroad always just tastes incredible. Look at that. Seriously awesome. <laughs> Seriously awesome. I'm loving this. It's actually so fun. I'm starting off with manakish, which is like the za'atar flatbread. And they've got one with labne, which is yogurt, which I can't have. And they've got all the continental standard pastries. They've got like Indian stuff. Do you know what? Everyone here is watching me vlog and it's really awkward. I never normally feel awkward. But one thing I was going to quickly say before I put this camera away is that nothing is actually labelled vegetarian or vegan, which is a little bit annoying. But anyway, I'm going to go now. Okay, don't judge my breakfast right. I just don't know what's vegetarian and what's not. And I had to keep asking him. I think I might have annoyed him, but this is a burrata. I've got like a bit of an Indian breakfast, vegetable spring rolls, some chickpea and potato curry, which I wouldn't normally like. This is some other chickpea thing. I have no idea what country it's from. It wasn't in the Indian section. This is za'atar flatbread. I've seen this on TikTok actually. Okay, and I always have some potato wedges with some roast peppers. People just keep coming up to me, like literally watching me vlog. It's so weird. Guys, let's talk about my first breakfast. It wasn't great. But this time round. Okay, hold on, we put the camera. I've got the potato wedges. They were fine, very oily. These vegetable spring rolls were actually really nice. I discovered baked beans. I discovered a za'atar roast tomato mushrooms and then the guy's so sweet I saw him like serving up some asparagus and I was like oh my god do you have asparagus where is it and he said no it's for the a la carte menu and then I was like oh okay he's like do you want some I was like yes please <laughs> so how many pieces I said three or four and then he got told off by some other man but then he gave me five pieces of boiled asparagus I'm so happy <laughs> here's a little OOTD <laughs> hold on ah! right there we go I don't know if I'm allowed to wear shorts, but anyway, we went, we had breakfast, checked in, had a little nap, got all refreshed, and now we're going kayaking. We both had a nap at the same time, which is quite dangerous because there was a risk of neither one of us waking up, but I think we napped for like not even an hour, maybe an hour max, which is quite good. It's now one o'clock, it's lunchtime, so we haven't like wasted too much time if you see what I mean we're going to mangrove is it called mangrove park yes yeah. I'll double check what it's called I found it just did the research contacted them and now we're trying to figure out how to get there it's only about a 10 minute taxi ride from our hotel which I think is kind of maybe in the middle of nowhere don't know we're gonna get a taxi there go kayaking which I'm very excited about I just hope I'm not the one person to fall in <laughs> I've got this bag that's kind of like waterproof I hope, I think, because um, we have a lot of camera equipment. That's what always makes our bags very heavy. Like I've got my vlogging camera, this, my phone, an undercover phone case, underwater phone case. Hmm. Jazz has a GoPro, a 360 camera. No, I'm not going to do this one. Okay, good. This one. And we, we just have a lot of tech stuff. I'm not taking my power bank either, but let's go. I hope I can actually like vlog it because I might be just too scared. I'm scared of little boats. So as much as I love being in the water, little boats and kayaks and stuff terrify me because I fell into, the, I've probably said this in every video when I've been abroad, but I fell into the water when I was trying to get in or out of a little boat when I was little and it was very traumatic. My trainers fell off my feet, one disappeared. It was just a scary time. I remember sitting in the nurse's office, like just crying for my mum. And it was my mum's fault that I fell in because she forced me to go into some boat that I didn't want to go into. Anyway, let's go, let's go. You need to be like, I've never seen anyone fall off a kayak before, so you obviously have to be flapping I'll about. I'll be the first. I'll be the first person to fall off a kayak. Yeah, because you'll be flapping up, but thinking Abby you're gonna, thinking you're gonna fall and that's when you do fall or something. Wish me luck. This is where we're 
headed to Mangrove Adventures and we're going kayaking there. Ooh, well, the water looks still, so that's something, isn't it? But yeah, I'm really scared. We're on a kayak. This is scary stuff. I'm not paddling. Oh my God, just stop it. Let me try and zoom out a little bit. I'm on my phone with a waterproof phone case on it. So if it's a bit weird, you know why. But this is the mangrove I think we're supposed to go around. Is that a mangrove? The guy said something about a bridge. He wasn't very clear. He didn't really give us a lot of confidence. <gasps> just don't move your body, he said. Just move the paddle. Okay, I think I need to start paddling. Hold on. This is like terrible camera quality because this is my underwater phone cover around my neck. Ta -da! Oh. I think we're going backwards guys because I hear boats but when you're on a kayak we're actually just not even moving. Hold on, hold on. Well we are kind of moving hold but on. it's like... I'll get us out of this pickle again Jess. Yeah thank you very much. <laughs> She's a driver. Whoa shrikes hold on. No it's, it's wobbling. When you're holding the camera you can't obviously paddle and if you move yourself then the boat just kind of feels like it's toppling so you're just supposed to move your arms but obviously because of that I can't turn around to you because the boat's <laughs> coming behind us and if there's a speedboat you kind of fly away oh there's a screw sticking up out of this oh. fucking like kayak can we not make sure we get like hitting my nail on this it. doesn't sink like that basically we've just been like sat here <laughs> burning in the sun okay time to put the phone away Bye! Look at us, just casually kayaking past a boat and a building site, as you do. There we go, we've made it past the mangroves. Well, only just. It's very shallow here. Oh. Like, are you scooping up sand, Jess? Feels like it. I'm just more worried about the boat hitting the floor because if it hits it, then we may not move. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have no idea what I'm filming. I've taken so many clips on my phone, but again, I can't see what I'm doing. So this time around, I'm braving it with the vlog camera. It's just better quality, you know? That's just paddling away. Uh, <laughs> I probably look very sweaty. We're literally burning in the sun. We've probably not even been out here for like 40 minutes yet. The whole of the back of Jasper's neck and his ears are like completely red. It is so hot. But the views are so nice. We're obviously going really, really slowly. And there's a group of like workmen just staring at me vlogging on a kayak. As you do. How was it, Jess? Yeah, it's quite a good experience actually. I think we were all very sweaty. Yeah. We lasted an hour. It's two hours. It's not it bad, was mega actually. heat. It's like 25 quid for two people whether you share a kayak or get one on your own. But two hours in this heat, like 36 degree heat, like he is burnt yeah and I've like, got lots of your ears are like so red oh my god burnt to a crisp <sighs> I'm just dying it's the life jacket that makes you really hot it does yeah it's like and the... like when you're going that way because the sun's behind you it's not so bad like you obviously still get burnt on the back but you don't feel it as much when you come back it's in your face and that's what makes you really hot but it was such a fun experience it was so so cool we saw people paddle boarding as well which is what I did in Cyprus and I really want to do it again maybe not here maybe not today too exhausted. Look at Jas's wet arse. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's the same. Guys, it's hard to tell, but look at, oh, you can't see. Look at my face. I've tanned so much. I'm so red. Mm, I didn't even leave the house like 24 hours ago. I've not even been here for like six hours. I'm so tanned. <laughs> I'm just gonna get ready. Kayaking was so much fun. It was a bit scary at first because the guy that was kind of running the show there didn't really speak any English and he did nothing to like 
try and calm you down. I was like, do people fall out the boat? And he was like, <laughs> no. But you know, people just say yes or no, and it doesn't always mean yes or no, they're just responding, so I don't know what else to say. I was like, okay. We didn't fall out the boat, so it was great. Um, we did get very wet, our asses were wet, because he didn't tell us that some water comes up through the kayak, there's little holes in it, which is fine. Um, I'm glad he gave me a waterproof bag. I'm not sure how much footage I really managed to get, because the sun was blinding me, it was like 36 degrees, couldn't really see what I was filming and also trying to stay afloat so filming wasn't really high on my list of priorities oh my hands are shaking because I'm hungry like we haven't eaten for about six hours now so our hotel I think we have a superior room I'm not entirely sure um and so they have like obviously they have breakfast which is included which we had we got it this morning because even though we're only staying two nights our flight is actually at midnight tomorrow so we won't get breakfast the day after so we asked to have it today instead which worked out great because we haven't actually spent any money apart from on taxis and on kayaking and i bought a coffee <laughs> but they also have an afternoon tea between 12 and 4 there's a lounge actually on our floor on the ninth floor and then they do evening drinks that start at five and i think it's probably about 4 30 now so we're probably going to head there first they do like food there as well so we thought why not we'll check it out so i know it seems a bit crazy that we're in abu dhabi for like two days we didn't really intend on coming here um it's really weird we're actually on our way to the philippines and this was a stopover we booked our flights through etihad and they had a deal on Whew powder everywhere they had a deal on it was a stopover on us so there are no direct flights to the philippines at the moment for some unknown reason which actually is quite nice because i hate sitting on a plane i actually forget how much i hate flying it, it's just the the end destination that i look forward to so anyway our stopover would have been in abu dhabi anyway and instead of hanging around the airport for a couple of hours if you spend up to two nights here they sort you out with a free hotel there's only like three or four to choose from we picked the best out of the list which is this one got quite lucky and we just thought like why not let's just do it we get to see another part of the world like i had been to dubai when i was about 18 don't really remember much but it's jasa's first time in the uae and i have to say this is not a country that would have ordinarily appealed to me like been high on my list of places that i want to visit i feel like it's so artificial and man-made and like a playground for the rich and they don't treat people very well which actually our taxi driver told us all about um on our journey to the hotel from the airport and i felt really sorry for him he was saying that like he works seven days a week 12 hours a day and he earns the equivalent of like just under 500 pounds a month and he was like i can barely afford to look after my family like he's got he was from india and he's got two or three daughters still at school there and his son who's here with him and he was like we don't have money to do anything apart from just eat and live and i was like that's so sad isn't it but obviously like we've all heard these stories about dubai and like you know whatever but it was just sad hearing it from someone in like real life like going through it um and he was telling us about how like laborers earn a dollar an hour like one us dollar an hour and they earn like 300 dollars a month or something really crazy like that and i was just like it's shocking anyway I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised. It's a very clean country and the people here are so friendly. They're really, really nice. I totally see what people mean by Emirati hospitality. We don't really have a plan, like because it's literally just a stopover, we'd kind of just disregarded doing anything. We hadn't really looked into it. We've spent all of our energy planning our Philippines trip, which hopefully <laughs> works out well, but we just haven't got a solid plan. We are gonna go to the famous mosque something Sheikh Zaid, I think that's what it's called I can't remember we are gonna go there and I did want to go to Ferrari world which is like an amusement park on Yas Island which is not very far from here but I thought because it's 75 pounds per person to get in which is quite steep but it's just roller coasters I thought you get to test drive a Ferrari and I was like oh my god that's cheaper than buying one of those virgin gift experiences at home yeah it's not if you want to drive a Ferrari it's like 400 pounds for two people and I was like it's just cheaper to do it at home and I don't do rides like roller coasters so we're not going to go there we're just chilling just seeing what happens but I'm going to get ready finish getting ready while Jess is in the shower I can't do my eyebrows while I talk 
our room looks like a bomb's hit it because we are literally checking out at 9 p.m tomorrow and we only arrived about eight hours ago but we're getting quite hungry now we're gonna go and grab some food then head to the mosque and then i need to try and figure out what i'm gonna wear actually that's a good point and then we might go out for dinner depending on what we get in the lounge but i'll take you along with me for the ride <laughs> This way. Oh, is this is uh, You have only one piece of salad in them, huh? This one. Give me uh, eight pieces. There we are. Dinner for two. Oh, yeah. I mean, they don't really have anything vegetarian, so I've got a random salad, some nachos, some za'atar bread, which I didn't actually like at breakfast, but it looks a little bit more bougie at the moment. Some cheese. Red label for you. <laughs> just has just helped themselves to some red label. Here's our little random mini feast. They do a platter, right? It's so weird because, I don't know, like there's a vegetable pakora, calamari, something beef. I don't know, anyway, they've just given me the vegetable pakoras. I have this. <laughs> I think it's really bad though that nothing is labelled vegetarian here and there's a drink station that you can help yourself to there. So this is the entrance to Sheikh Zayed Mosque. Apparently you go through there and then you go, you like you walk underground and that is the mosque itself. We've seen it so many times as we've been driving past it and it looks stunning at night time when it's all lit up. weird when you come down the escalators it's literally a full-on shopping centre there's like a pink berry there's a Starbucks there's even a Costa haagen <laughs> Cinnabon Mothercare it's actually quite funny let me just figure out oh mosque this way I just had to buy an Abaya that I'm now tripping over because you can't rent them anymore and I have to say they look glamorous on women here I just look like a pleb um, you can't rent in a buyer. I left my scarf at the hotel, but even if I had it, it's just like a normal, like, thin scarf. It doesn't cover my arms. I didn't realise you have to have a long sleeve t shirt on. Everyone's watching me vlog, who's being this there, because, like, these men just stopped. Just watching. Okay, look. Awkward. Hey, hey. It's quite tight on the bus area, and it's very long. <laughs> you can barely walk. It's just like a silly bouncy. You can watch me. Just stop. <laughs> Mosque Hagen Dars. What flavour did you get, Jess? Caramel, vanilla, and brownie. We've got salted caramel. Yum. Good morning. It's another day, another breakfast. Got some more asparagus and some fruit. Thank you so much. <laughs> No time for a post breakfast nap today. We're heading straight to the beach. Today's gonna to be a chilling day. We did so much yesterday. We're absolutely shattered, weren't we? Awake for like almost 48 hours. We went to the mosque, we went kayaking, we checked into our hotel. Right outside, we had a breakfast and now we're heading to the beach. Today's our last day in Abu Dhabi, just like that. We slept really well yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, we did actually. He fell asleep at like 9, 9.30. I fell asleep uh, by about 10 and I never fall asleep that easily so that was really good for me and now let me show you the view here is the view so hot and sunny already I'm gonna try and get like a sheltered bed you know one of those it's a shame their sofas underneath them and not beds there's Jas in the sea it's so lovely and warm and I haven't, I'm vlogging on my camera but I don't know if you'll be able to see the little fish in the water. Once again I'm being blinded by the sun so I can't actually see what I'm filming. Look at this view. 
don't know what noises that person in the background's making. So we're just sat in this little cabana. I think I might have vlogged this earlier, I can't remember, but it's a bit of a shame. They don't have like beds, they're just sofas, but it's fine because we're fully covered in the shade. And look at this, aside from towels, they give you a cool bag, a cool box even, with loads of ice and bottles of water. <sighs> so nice, but it is boiling hot. Guys, it's so hot. I'm literally sat here trying to read my book and I'm just sweating. Like we're in the shade, <laughs> there's no breeze. It's probably about 36 degrees. It's so hot. Are you not really hot, Jess? I'm really hot, yeah. And I'm just in my bikini. I'm not even like fully clothed. Do you know what I mean? I'm an idiot. I had my waterproof phone case, which I tested out in the sea for the first time, and it is waterproof, it's great. And then I got back and my phone had like overheated, obviously, because it's just so hot here. So I thought, oh, let me put it in the cool box and balance it on the bottles of water just for a few seconds, just to cool down a little bit. Didn't realize that my phone wasn't gonna balance on a bottle of water, and that the ice in the cool box had melted, and my phone completely dropped into like the melted ice, which is now obviously water and it was submerged completely. I mean, so far it's so good. But I'm just really worried. This is like day two of like a just over two week trip. <laughs> what is, like, I'm such a, you can't just buy a new phone. Do you know what I mean? Like, what an idiot. Anyway, now I've left it in the sun to overheat again. Is that the right thing to do? We've got all dressed up <laughs> for after changing in the lounge. There's no one here, no chefs, no waitresses, no food, it's really weird. Well, there's a coffee machine. But there's like no like soy milk or anything, so I'm having a Coca-Cola light. Just as having a coffee, got a random pair. We're not actually massively hungry to be honest, because we had quite a big breakfast. It's now what time is it? Quarter past three. Quarter past three. So we're just going to see what we do. We haven't actually eaten in a single restaurant in Abu Dhabi since we've been here. And we're leaving at like nine o'clock. We're leaving in about six hours. We're meeting in the hotel tonight. It's our final meal. I've got shahi paneer. There wasn't a ton of veggie choice once again, but I think there's some sort of mango pickle. I've got loads of naan and it's very buttery. <laughs> and just got sea bass. Yep. What have you got? Sea bass with broccoli and asparagus. My favourite asparagus and that I'm loving at breakfast. Oh, nice. And some chips. Yes. Smells good. We've just had a really nice and chilled day today. We've just kind of hung out in the hotel. We went to the beach, which is literally about five steps out of this hotel. It was so nice. There's hardly anyone there. We pretty much had the sea to ourselves. It was just great. We're gonna be so tired the next day because we've got a flight. So it's currently about 9 p.m. We have to leave for the airport in about three hours. And then we're flying to Manila at like 2.45 in the morning. Um, it's another red eye flight, so I probably won't get much sleep. It's eight and a half hours to Manila. And then from there, we booked a separate flight to Cebu, which is one of the, uh, the first island we're going to. And we did have about a three and a half hour wait. And I thought that might be tight timing by the time we clear customs, go through passport control and get our baggage and then find the next terminal to go to, to check in for our second flight. Well, turns out i needn't have worried about that because that flight has now been cancelled <laughs> and we're on a much later flight so we have to hang around in manila airport for about five and a half or six hours which isn't ideal but i just absolutely hate rushing in an airport so i don't mind doing that um it's going to be another one of those days where we're just absolutely shattered like we can't we're just not tired enough to nap we, we slept so well last night because obviously we hadn't slept the night before and the same thing's going to happen to us when we get to the Philippines. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this probably not very short vlog. I'm going to start editing it now because what else am I doing with my life? And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.